2019 in her pocket. And Claire Curzan has a win already in this session. Back half of her double coming up after winning the 50 fly not too long ago. We know about her ability in backstroke, world bronze in the 100 back for Team USA in Budapest, Hungary last summer. Rest of this field, including Summer Stanfield, started her college career at LSU, now a proud Utah U, 22-year-old in lane number one. Caitlin Schroeder, 17-year-old from Canada, there in lane two. Ryan White, fourth in the 100 and 200 back in the Tokyo Olympics, on the podium last summer of this event, World Bronze in Budapest for the United States for the Alabama Swim Club performer. There's Curzan. Top time of the prelim, she'll be in lane four. Fastest of the heats by about a quarter second. Isabel Stadden, 20-year-old from Cal Aquatics, U.S. national champion of the 200 back last summer. Won the 50 back already at this meet. Tegan O'Dell, some home pool love for the Mission Viejo Natador. Sensational age group performer, now 16, third at the Junior Nationals in this event last summer. There's Bella Sims, back half of her double, won the 200 free already in this session, looking for a third title, won the 400 free already here at this event too. And Athena Kovacs, 18-year-old, represents Mexico, Team Charlotte Swimming, 2021 junior Pan Pax gold medalist in this race for Mexico. Go back to Isabel Stadden, again, showing some speed routing again. This may be her best distance, but looked racy in winning the 50 back already at this meet. Yeah, I think that speed will pay off here in the front half. Hey, no, this, is, man, this is one Looney Tunes event for the women. I mean, I, I'm sitting here counting how many swimmers have a legitimate shot of making the world championship team. And I count no less than eight. Now, there might be one or two that might not swim it when we get to trial, but this event is so loaded. The top three in the world last year were all Americans. I'm one. They're all, already four swimmers from the United States ranked in the top 10 here, including Isabel Stad. Now, they'll all be chasing Reagan Smith, who's ranked four, uh, second in the world right now, but Stadden, White, they all have a shot to make it here in the 200. And Reagan Smith with her ability, Rowdy. Just amazing that after that world championship performance from 2019, couldn't crack the U.S. lineup in Tokyo for the world's last summer for Team USA in this event. And certainly, she looks to be on form as she gets ready for trials here in this race. Herzan looking rock solid too. White second best at this point, and then Stad. Very smooth going out for Kurzan, and that's smart coming off that fly about 15 minutes ago, kind of building that first 100. Had a nice second 50 there, 31.9, the only swimmer to break 32 on that second 50. You don't want to forget Ryan White down there underneath Kurzan. Kurzan still looking good there. And Jason, 32.7 there. She's the only one to break 33 on that 50. So the lead actually extended a little bit after the third 50. And now, look at her go. Nobody's catching her. A pair of world bronze medalists in backstroke last summer. White in this event. Here's Ann. In the 100 meters in here, Claire will get the win. White there in second. Staten, a little long at the finish, but still in there for third with Tegan O'Dell in four. Well, add a fifth American to the top 10 now. Curzan now sixth in the world this year. Oh, uh, at a six. How about Ryan White, 209 flat. She'll crack the top 10 now. All of a sudden, you've got seven American women in the top 10. That's what I'm talking about, the strength of the United States women in the 200 backstroke. But here, nobody better. What a tremendous double for this incredible talent that is Claire Curzan going into her last turn, complete control there. Talk about breaking 33, the last or the third 50. She did the same thing the last 50. 
again, the only swimmer to do that. So all four of her 50s were better than anybody else in the field. She's looking good as we head to Indy. Pulling off a tough double with a couple of victories. We know you have a full racing plate. Where does this event kind of fall on, on your like list? I mean, I've always kind of loved the 200 backstroke, weirdly enough. Um, backstrokes is something I enjoy, and so more of it, the better. So um, I've just been loving it, and practice has been fun training. So I'm excited to hopefully continue racing this event. How about swimming outdoors? Is it different than swimming indoors? Obviously, it is it yeah. indoors. Oh, I love swimming outdoors. I mean, you get tan, uh, <laughs> you, this, the sun's out, and the air's super nice. So I really enjoy it. I wish the sun was out today, but um, yeah, I, yeah, I love it. Hey, great double tonight. Congrats. Thank you so much.